Okay, today we are going to talk about the different water turn valves in our hydraulic systems. Which one should be open, when, to be, when should be open, which one should be closed and when they should be closed. The first one we are going to talk about is the one we use when we change piston caps to drain the excess of oil out of the loop. This valve over here, quarter turn valve, will be locked all the time. That valve has to be open constantly. It will allow to compensate the oil in between. When you need to take piston caps and put new ones, you are going to take out the screw in the center, you are going to turn the, se the security plate around so you can close it. You will have a quarter of a turn movement and you can close that valve. Other than that, that valve always has to be locked, open, open always. Next one, this valve, you will find it connected to this line between the main manifold to the four-way valve for the shifting cylinders. It will be on this side, it will be on the other side, but it will always be tied down like this. This has to be open all the time. We use this one to test the pressure in our system. When we close, when we cut the plastic dies and we close it, we will stop the signal so the cylinder will get to the maximum of the movement sensing valve will switch over the tube and in that moment instead of allowing the main manifold to change the direction of the cylinders it will stop and the cylinder will try to keep going in the same direction high pressuring the system which allows to check the pressure in the system this has to be open all the time never close always open and if it's possible tie it down with plastic ties again Within this model of pumps, relatively new, you are going to have in the volume control system and your, your manifold for the accumulator, you are going to have another valve. This valve will be tied down in this direction. If you open and close, you will have, if you lose power and you are in an emergency procedure, you will be able to adjust more or less the volume of the pump. You won't have the fine tuning that you have with the other ones. If you don't need to use this one, if you are not an emergency procedure, please keep it tied down. Put the plastic ties in there because if this one is halfway, you won't be able to control normally or the regular way your volume control. Next one, we are going to pass to the other side of this manifold. Another valve that is critical is our soft switching valve. When it's completely open, all the flow of the oil is going to go through the body of the valve. When we close it, we are going to go through an orifice, a reduction of flow that will allow to get the full pressure, but it will have a delay, allowing us to have a soft switching in, our, in the movement of the S2. Keep it open all the time. You will need it only when you have a low density or a very liquid mix, so it won't splash and it won't cause more bouncing in the boom. Last one we're going to talk today, your manual dump valve for the pressure in the accumulator circuit. This has to be closed all the time. Being closed means it's not parallel with the line, it's perpendicular to the line. This is open, this is closed. When we open this one, we lose all the pressure of the accumulator, when we close it, we can control our accumulator. So this valve has to be closed all the time. In all our valves, if you take the plate on the front, you are going to find a little line in the stem that holds the handle itself. And if it's like this, the valve is open. If it's parallel, it's open. And if it's perpendicular, this will be closed. Thank you.